We've been wondering about the brain and how it works for millennia, and it's still a mystery. We generally know bits and pieces of how it works, but there's vast areas of function that we're still drawing a blank on. What many people have asked for decades at this point is, is the brain more like a telephone using analog signals, or is it more like a telegraph using Morse code-like signals in a digital system? The answer is a little bit of both, and possibly neither. First, let's look at the latter option, the telegraph one, binary. Modern computers are binary, or digital systems. That is, they're based on ones and zeros. These ones and zeros are controlled via humans writing computer code. Neurons have been compared to this binary system. From what we understand, your thoughts, memories, and general consciousness is made up of billions and billions of neurons that form vast chains. Each neuron either generates potential or does not, which has led many scientists for a long time to think that it is a digital system. The truth appears to be much more complicated. I mean, they don't call the brain the most complicated thing in the universe for nothing. More and more neuroscientists are concluding that the way the brain processes reality is using signals that have some things in common with digital, but not exactly. And it's looking more and more like the brain is something completely unique and history shows us this. By the way, if you've made it this far, chances are you like this video. We've been comparing things to the brain since Descartes. He was impressed by the hydraulic systems of his day and even developed a hydraulic theory of the action of the brain. We've compared the brain to many things, including the telephone, electrical fields, and now computers. Next, I think the brain is going to be compared to quantum computers, as in neurons are initially in a so-called superposition state before they decide to have potential or not, but that won't exactly be right either. I think, or at least my brain thinks, it would be better for all of us to accept the brain for what it is as a unique organ and be open to the secrets that lie within. Thanks for watching this video today. If you want to learn more about topics like these, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you next time.